Trooping the Colour is one of the most spectacular events in the British calendar. It marks the official birthday of the British sovereign. It's a tradition that dates back to the 17th century. Every June, the British Army parades its regimental flags, known as colours, in a grand display of military precision. This year was special. It was King Charles's first Trooping the Colour as monarch. The excitement was palpable. Citizens and tourists alike gathered to witness the grandeur. The air was filled with anticipation as people awaited the king's arrival, but no one could have predicted what would happen next. King Charles faced an unexpected and dramatic moment. The cheers and applause were suddenly overshadowed by boos from the crowd. The day started with blue skies and a hint of sunshine. The mall was lined with people waving Union Jack flags. Children sat on the shoulders of their parents, hoping to catch a glimpse of the royal family. The atmosphere was electric, brimming with national pride and tradition. Bands played patriotic tunes, soldiers in bright red uniforms and bearskin hats marched in perfect formation, the rhythmic beat of the drums echoed through the streets. The pageantry was a sight to behold, a perfect blend of history and modernity. As the parade progressed, the excitement grew, cameras flashed capturing every moment, Commentators provided a running commentary, explaining the significance of each part of the parade. It was a day of celebration, history, and unity. The crowd's enthusiasm was infectious. Everyone was there to celebrate the monarchy and their beloved country. But the mood was about to change dramatically. Trooping the colour is not just a parade. It's a symbol of British heritage and loyalty. It's an event that brings the nation together. The ceremony is steeped in tradition and serves as a reminder of the country's rich history. It's a moment of national pride. For the royal family, it's an opportunity to connect with the public. It's a display of unity and strength. The Queen and now King Charles stand as figures of continuity and stability. Trooping the colour is a chance for the monarchy to reaffirm their bond with the people. This year, all eyes were on King Charles. His first Trooping the Colour as King was a significant milestone. It was supposed to be a moment of celebration and honour. The King, dressed in his ceremonial uniform, was the centrepiece of the event. But the unexpected boos from the crowd turned this momentous occasion into a controversial one. It raised questions about the monarchy's current standing with the public. The parade was in full swing. The crowd was cheering. The royal family appeared on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Suddenly, the atmosphere shifted. As King Charles stepped forward, a section of the crowd started to boo. The sound was unmistakable. It was a shocking moment. The boos grew louder, drowning out the cheers. The king's expression changed. For a few seconds, he looked taken aback. The royal family stood by, visibly surprised by the reaction. The commentators were stunned. This was unprecedented. A moment that should have been filled with pride and joy was now marked by dissent. The cameras captured the king's reaction, broadcasting the unexpected turn of events to the world. The boos continued for a few minutes before the crowd's cheers managed to overpower them. But the damage was done. The incident had left a mark on what was supposed to be a flawless celebration. Section 5. Reasons behind the public's reaction. Why did the crowd boo King Charles? The reasons are complex and varied. Some say it's a sign of growing dissatisfaction with the monarchy. Recent controversies have made headlines, affecting public opinion. The king's handling of certain issues has been criticized. Others believe it's a generational divide. Younger people in particular have been vocal about their discontent with the monarchy. They see it as an outdated institution. Social media has amplified these voices, creating a platform for dissent. Economic factors also play a role. The cost of living crisis has put pressure on many families. The lavishness of royal events can seem out of touch with the struggles of everyday people. 
this disconnect has fueled resentment. And then, there are personal opinions. Some individuals simply don't agree with the idea of a monarchy. They see it as undemocratic. The boos were a manifestation of these various grievances, coming together in one dramatic moment. Section 6. King Charles's Response to the Boos King Charles is no stranger to public scrutiny, but this was different. The boos were loud and public. His reaction was measured. He maintained his composure, although the surprise was evident on his face. He continued to wave to the crowd, projecting a sense of calm. His aides quickly sprang into action. They tried to manage the situation, ensuring that the event continued smoothly. The king did not address the boos directly. Instead, he focused on the positive aspects of the day. Later, sources close to the palace said that the king was aware of the mixed reactions. He took it in stride, understanding that public opinion is multifaceted. His response was to continue his duties with dignity and grace. However, the incident was a stark reminder of the challenges he faces. The boos were a wake-up call, highlighting the need for the monarchy to address public concerns more openly. Section 7 Public and Media Reaction The public's reaction to the boos was mixed. Some were shocked and saddened. They felt it was disrespectful. Others saw it as a necessary expression of dissatisfaction. Social media platforms buzzed with debates and discussions. The media had a field day. Headlines screamed about the controversy. Analysts and commentators provided endless opinions. Some defended the monarchy, while others questioned its relevance. The incident became a focal point for broader discussions about the future of the monarchy. Television channels replayed the moment repeatedly. Talk shows invited guests to share their views. The booze became a symbol of the divided opinion within the country. The event, which was supposed to unite, had highlighted the fractures. Despite the controversy, some saw this as an opportunity for the monarchy to evolve. They believed that addressing the public's concerns openly could strengthen the institution in the long run. Section 8. Implications for the monarchy's image. The incident at Trooping the Colour has significant implications for the monarchy. It raises questions about the institution's relevance in the modern world. The boos were not just about King Charles, they were a reflection of broader discontent. The monarchy has always been seen as a symbol of stability. Events like these, however, challenge that perception. The royal family must now navigate these turbulent waters carefully. Their response will shape public opinion in the coming years. The incident also highlights the need for transparency. The public wants to see a monarchy that is in touch with their concerns. Addressing issues openly can help rebuild trust. The royal family must engage more with the public, showing that they understand and care about their struggles. This moment serves as a reminder that the monarchy cannot remain static. It must evolve with the times. King Charles's response to this challenge will be crucial in determining the future of the British monarchy. Section 9. Historical Context of Royal Criticism Royal criticism is not new. Throughout history, the monarchy has faced challenges and dissent. From the abdication of Edward VIII to the troubled times of Princess Diana, the royal family has had its share of controversies. These moments have often led to significant changes. The abdication crisis led to a redefined role for the monarchy. The public's reaction to Diana's death forced the royal family to become more open and accessible. The boos at Trooping the Colour can be seen in this context. They represent a call for change. The monarchy has the opportunity to learn and adapt. History shows that the royal family has the resilience to overcome such challenges. Understanding this historical context is crucial. It provides a framework for interpreting the current situation. The monarchy has faced criticism before and emerged stronger. This moment too can be a catalyst for positive change. Section 10. Conclusion, Future of the British Monarchy The boos at Trooping the Colour were a dramatic and unexpected moment. They highlighted the challenges facing the monarchy. King Charles's first Trooping the Colour as King will be remembered for this incident. But it also presents an opportunity. The monarchy must listen to the public's concerns. They need to show that they are in touch with modern Britain. Addressing issues openly and transparently can help rebuild trust. This moment can be a turning point. 
The future of the British monarchy depends on its ability to evolve. King Charles has the chance to lead this transformation. By engaging with the public and addressing their concerns, he can strengthen the bond between the monarchy and the people. The boos were a wake-up call. They remind us that the monarchy must remain relevant and connected to the people. With careful steps, King Charles can ensure that the British monarchy continues to thrive in the modern world.